Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to talk about why positive affirmations don't work. So a lot of um, self-help books have this thing about using positive self-affirmations, okay? So you pick any kind of positive thought that you think is really powerful and the idea of course is that you say them on a daily basis. So you wake up in the morning and you say your affirmations, say them in the evening, throughout the day, whenever you feel any negativity coming up. And to be honest, they don't work. There's a very good reason for that. Well, I'm not just gonna say they don't work and not give you an alternative. Okay, I'm gonna give you an alternative. The reason, first of all, why they don't work is we have an emotional scale, okay? And down at the very bottom is depression, hopelessness, despair. And you work your way all the way up to much higher levels, which are joy, peace of mind, gratitude, happiness, right? And all sorts of emotions in between. So higher than the lowest one, there will be things like um, pessimism or anger. Okay, still not very nice emotions, but they're higher than the lowest one, which is helplessness or victimhood or depression, as I said. Now, the problem with self-affirmations is you might be on a very low level in terms of your emotion. Okay, you might be feeling really, really bad. And for you to say, okay, I feel bad, I want to change this, I'm going to rely on a, a self-affirmation or a positive affirmation. What you're doing is you're trying to access an emotional point up here and it's way too far away from where you currently are. This is uh, Jerry and Esther Hicks talk about this in their book Ask and It Is Given. And by the way, if you get that book, get the second book as well. It's called The Processes and it outlines practical things you can do on a day-to-day -day basis that will help you, you know, get alternatives to, the, to positive, just basic positive self-affirmations. <clears throat> Um, that you know they have an awareness of this this concept that there is different levels in emotion so you can't jump up here if you're down here so for instance a better thing to do than positive self-affirmations would be well, one is journaling okay journaling is very useful because there's no real goal in terms of positivity what you do is, generally what happens is it turns into more of a positive dialogue, but you start off with your journaling, you take out a notebook or anywhere you want to do it on your laptop, and you just start to write your experience as it is. Right now, I feel really bad. I feel terrible. I feel hopeless. Um, this happened at work, Did my relationship, you know, you, you just write whatever it is and how you're feeling it and what you think about yourself and what you think about your future, and it might be negative. But you'll find the more you write, once you've acknowledged the negativity, it begins to shift and then your language gets a little bit more positive. You're working gradually up the scale, okay? Um, so that's one really, really, you know, it's a far better alternative um, in ter if, if you're looking for tools to use. Um, something else you can do would be to just, your emotion comes up. It could be negative, okay? And what you do is you don't even try to label the emotion, okay? You might want to call it anxiety, depression, sadness, whatever it is. Rather than doing that and labeling it and intellectualizing it really is what you're doing with that, just sit with the feeling and don't even call it anything, okay? That makes it sort of more allowable to have that feeling because, you know, the word anxiety, depression are very loaded negative terms okay that's another thing you do so there are others um there's loads and loads of different processes self-affirmations can be useful uh in maintaining and sort of building if you're already in quite a good mindset you know if you're in a, your emotional level is quite high already yeah then they can be useful but if you've ever wondered why they haven't worked for you personally that's the main reason okay you're trying to jump too far ahead from where you currently are, your emotional set point. Okay, so check out that book maybe. And um, if you would like a one-to-one -one Skype session with me, 
you can just click the link. Okay, it's very affordable. And uh, we can talk about different techniques, different processes you can use, and um, that will help you work your way up the emotional scale. So guys, hope you found that helpful, and I will talk to you soon.